Welcome, happy July. Welcome, King Cabbage. Welcome this Sunday. Yeah. We are so glad you are here with us this week, supporting our community with your listening energy and willingness to grow and join together in our experiencing music as faith. It matters that you are here. Your presence is a present, and we appreciate you so very much. Thank you. I behold the Christ presence in all people. An age-old proverb reminds us that it takes a village to raise a child, with love and encouragement, with members of the whole community. A child succeeds and thrives. We were all children once. And so it is in our community as we honor and support the people around us and love our neighbors as ourselves 
We help create a space for all people to realize their loving potential. Neighbor is not just the person who lives next door, but everyone in the world. Behold the divine presence in each person and open our hearts through compassion and understanding. When we see through the eyes of love, we help others and our world be all they can be. For the whole law is summed up in a single commandment. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Galatians 5.14. I hope I said that right. From the Tao today, totality. Those who consider their path superior are condescending. A parent who speaks the totality of the self is absurd. Many paths lead to the summit, but it takes a whole body to get there. Once I met a woman who was a lifelong Christian. She had two sons who practiced yoga. She thought that was wonderful, but they arrogantly considered their beliefs to be superior to hers and told her that she was not doing enough for her spiritual salvation. No one has a right to condemn another person's spiritual beliefs. No spiritual system is superior to another. Each one of us should have the philosophy and practices that work for us. We should be happy once we find it. We should help those who are interested in, this, in, in the spirituality we represent, or the lack thereof, even. But none of us should behave condescendingly toward other people's choices. We are all trying to get to the summit of realization in lives, and there, has, and there are many valid paths leading to the top. All, of course, of course, the view and terrain on one side of the mountain will differ from the other, but the summit is identical no matter your approach. Whatever your path, all that matters is that you commit yourself totally to following it. Others will do the same as long as we climb, each from our own direction, and reach the summit of human awareness. We can achieve complete totality in our lives then all the fracturing discussions of sex and different religions and beliefs or non-beliefs become unnecessary and we can be free to love. From Ding Ming Dao. And one more, thank you for so much for being here and listening. Days are beautiful, Andrea C. Neal. July 3rd. 2020, day 88 of 100 flash fiction stories. Bittersweet. This doesn't taste good. Stop complaining, just eat it. Darius again took the strange fruit in both hands and bit into it. This time it tasted different. He saw the flavors swirling and blending, floating up to the sky. He felt like his feet had left the ground, and in an instant, he could see everything. Oh, he said. Yes, son, said his mother. You are connected to every living thing. You know what they know. You see what they do. Darius began to cry. It's all right, child. Just be kind, and you will always be free. Thank you for the miracle of life. Help us all so we may come to see. All love is connected Like the roots and the branches of a tree 
you'd like to sing it with me if you know the words, we've been here a while. Thank you for the miracle of life. Thank you for the miracle of life. Help us all so we may come to see. Help us all so we may come to see. All love is connected like the roots and the branches of a tree. All love is connected like the roots and the branches of a tree. If you'd like to receive prayers today, and you are willing to accept, remember, please, be grateful for all the things that have gone right for us already today with grace and strength to lead you through hardships. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you be at peace. May you be loved. And may you be loved today and always. Amen. Russell? Hey, let's give uh, Rebecca another round of applause. She does such a very good job. That, uh, that really touched me this morning. Uh, whenever, we, uh, whenever we all graduated from high school, my mother always told the uh, story of how it takes a village to raise a child and how uh, she'd always tell that story to the church, you know, when it was our graduation Sunday. So that, that really hit me right here this morning. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about gratitude amongst our community. Uh, we all know each other through music. And to me, that, that's another thing that just makes me happy, just how this started just because of friendship through music. And uh, music just happens to be my favorite form of entertainment to begin with. So, uh, and it's also, I just like to see how everybody can express themselves musically. And here, they can do it spiritually also. So, and also with the openness of, of how everybody is, like Rebecca brought earlier what she was saying, how you don't need to be condescending about your beliefs or do not look down on other people's beliefs. And that is something that is really, this day and age, we really need stuff like that. Because, you know, it, it is, it's getting crazy out there. But, you know, as long as we got each other and we just keep showing that love light, let it shine, you know, it's, uh, we can help keep that darkness out. And, uh, you know, every Sunday, I just feel more and more happy, happier that we got this going on. And I want to thank everybody that's in here today. You know, when I see uh, everybody out here, it brings up my spirit, helps my energy, and I hope I... Uh, I hope I translate what I say very well, and it helps you guys through your week, too. So, uh, we're kind of running over a little bit, so I'm just kind of going to make this a little short. But, uh, yeah, just let's uh, keep, uh, keep that love light going, and... Uh, 
I got a little scripture that's kind of, actually this is a uh, repeat, but uh, it's going to go well with, with the rest of our service, and it goes well with the service. It just goes well with it today. <laughs> Sorry. This is from Psalms 150, verse 1 through 6. Praise the Lord. Praise God in the sanctuary. Praise God in God's mighty ferment. Praise God for the mighty acts. Praise God for his godly acts of, towards us. Praise God according to the God's excellent greatness. Praise God with the sound of the trumpet. Praise God with lute and harp. Praise God with timbrel and dance. Praise God with loud cymbals. Praise God with clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I would like to welcome Greg and his band up here later on. And... Uh, Thank you. Um, so uh, I've been asked to share, and um, uh, I, my bandmates hear me talk about all this stuff a lot, so I know this is going to sound kind of repetitive uh, to them, and I, but. Um, I've been thinking a lot uh, about my community in the last couple of years, just being away from home um, and how COVID affected us all. Um, I think I know everybody here. My name is Greg. I founded King Cabbage Brass Band. I'm 28 from Tulsa. Um, in 2017, I moved to Memphis. And then, um, uh, and then in 2020, I moved to New Orleans. And I recently came back home and started this band. Um, and I want to talk about what it means to be an artist in a community. Um, we have a mission statement uh, in the band to bring people together through joyful music um, and staying dedicated to honor, honoring the originators of brass band music, working hard to serve communities, and starting a party in a safe space where all feel welcome. Um, and... Um, the older I get, the more of a connection I feel with my audience as a performer, um, and the more I care, I think, for them, um, because I've realized, and it was kind of through all that, um, through that COVID experience, that um, the most important thing about what I do is not spending three hours a day in a practice room, which... I did for years, but um, the most important thing that I do is connecting with the audience. And so that really puts the audience kind of at the center as, as the first priority of why, we're, I, why, why we play. Um, and I think that's because the people that we serve are more important than the art that we create. And that's, that's super true um, to me. I, like, I've been so focused on, well, let me, let me back up. Um, I learned this from, from being, feeling like really alone um, in a new city for a while. So like, I was in a long-term relationship. It's like, took me out of town. I followed a girl. I ended up getting a master's. It was a win-win, it was fine. Um, but at a certain point, like, uh, around 2019, I decided I wanted to move to New Orleans, um, because it felt like I could have, like, because i I fell in love with New Orleans music and as a trombone player, it felt like I could really be myself and not worry about, Ooh, that sat that I tongued that a little harsh, you know, that, that attack was a little harsh. Maybe that was slightly out of tune. Like in New Orleans, I feel like the music and the culture and the kind of instruments that you see just kind of go with that. So I wanted to be myself in this place. I was like pursuing the music 
to help me feel loved, I guess, or like part of a community. Um, and then I got there and I was like, hmm, this is really awesome. The music's really good. But still, at the end of the day, don't really feel fulfilled, like in a weird way, even though, the, even though I was there. Maybe it was because COVID sucked. I don't know. Um, yeah, then I, I kind of realized I needed people in my life that I loved and not music, um, which is, I know, it's like, I, I, this is what I do all, all the time. It's not like I'm, I'm like, it sounds like I'm up here, like, quitting music, but, um, <laughs> but, um, so I decided to come home, and whatever I was looking for, like, moving to a new place, I definitely found here, um, Because I think it's all kind of based around the connection and the community. I think, like, going back to the scripture, like the reading that Peter gave, like, like the best way to praise the Lord or to like, like, follow in the footsteps of the Lord or or live a virtuous life is to like be a part of the community, like serve the community the best way you can. And I just found that to be like for myself, like at home with the people I loved, rather than like pursuing this like arbitrary like like abstract thing, like trying to be the best all the time or whatever. Um, I realized I needed people, not music. And I also realized that like representing your home, wherever that might be, like as an artist, is like probably the most genuine thing you can do. And the only way to connect with your audience is to be yourself. So like there was times like whenever I was in Memphis or like I went on a tour with the Glenn Miller Orchestra, I used to tell the MD to say I was from Memphis because I thought it sounded cooler. And now, like, I'm ashamed, completely ashamed of that. Because, like, I'm so proud to be from here, like, to be brought up by the people that are from here. Um, and, uh, and, yeah, I just wanna, I just wanna be, I just, I think, like, when you listen to artists like Verse, um, who I just bought his uh, first verse as a rapper in town. I just bought his $30 copy. He puts on for Tulsa so strong and makes me proud to be from here. And I want to be like a person who also like makes other people proud to be from Tulsa and uh, just be myself and be honest um, as an artist and connect with the audience because that's like the most important part, I think, in, uh, in what we do. And so, um, with that being said, we're gonna play some fun music, and, uh, and we're, let's let's uh, bring King Cabbage back up. And uh, thank you very much. Thanks. That first song was uh, Jesus on the Main Line, and this is uh, Do What You Want to.
need to mention is, you know, everybody be safe for the rest of the holiday and uh, have a happy 4th of July. On the, starting on the 11th and also on the 25th, uh, Jordan's going to start this thing called Creative Community Choir. With Sarah Maud. With Sarah Maud. And uh, what, what time does that start? Six. six. At yeah. six o'clock. Six to seven on, yeah, the 11th. And then depending on how it goes, we we'll keep it going. Yeah, so that's, everybody come out for that. You know, that just sounds sounds excellent. And also, uh, forgot to mention, everybody that watches us on the uh, streams, thanks you guys, too. Thanks for uh, watching us. I'm going to end with a prayer. And if you care to join me... Uh, Let's uh, reflect on uh, this last week and what's coming forward. Dear Heavenly Spirit, we're so glad you brought us here today. And uh, 
Thanks for the talent that you bring into our lives that we can enjoy this great music, that we can uh, uplift your name and just make us feel better and make us better people. Also, uh, we want to keep in mind everybody out there that's hurting and uh, be with them, help guide them to a safer, happier place. And uh, we love you just like you love us. Amen.